I'm with Mr. T. R. Parsuraman, who is the newly elected president of the Bangalore Chamber of Industry and Commerce. Congratulations, first of all. Thanks, Savita. You know, really delighted that a very dynamic personality who's already carved away in the industry is taking this lead and leading corporates together for better change. So, so tell us, uh, Mr. Parsuraman, you know, you've themed uh, the year as something very specific dedicated to Karnataka. Mm. Can you tell us more about it? Yeah, very happy, Savira, to announce uh, this year our theme as Nama Karnataka, a gateway to future India. So this uh, theme we have coined to foster uh, accelerated uh, development of the industries in the state. Okay. And if you know that government of Karnataka under the dynamic leadership of our uh, honorable CM uh, Shri Yurappa and our industries minister uh, Shri Jagadish Shetter, they have been working very hard with the industries department, Mr. Gaurav Gupta, principal secretary and team and uh, Mrs. Gujan Krishna, commissioner of industries uh, to create uh, greater awareness and bring more investment into the state. I am uh, very excited that uh, the state has come out with very, very active reforms. Recently, the industries can set up and get clearances within 30 days. Is a Philip uh, to promote the industries in Karnataka. That's a big step forward. Absolutely. Even the buying of the land from the private parties also is possible now, and uh, industries can start with their activities in no time. And secondly, the new manufacturing policy, uh, which aims at uh, promoting uh, 5 lakh crore investments in the next five years and uh, 2 million jobs. Mm. It's an amazing step towards this activity okay. and this will promote uh, the growth of innovation, creativity, research, development and Karnataka will be in the global map. So, so keeping Karnataka as you know, uh, the hot selling place uh, across India for businesses to thrive, uh, you know, leading the chamber, what does it mean to you and what is your vision for, you know, I mean, for the years ahead? See, uh, my biggest vision uh, would be to, you know, work for a common purpose and uh, maximize the value for all our stakeholders. Our stakeholders include our members of the Bangalore Chamber of Industries and Commerce, the government of Karnataka, and the industries as a body. So, uh, I think that this would be my biggest uh, objective, which means uh, how to align all these uh, stakeholders for a common purpose ultimately the growth of Karnataka and make an investor friendly place. Already Karnataka is uh, one of the best places for investment in terms of climate, skilled manpower, the kind of infrastructure progress that has been happening and the kind of uh, potential for big industries to come. Uh, so I think this is going to be a place of happening including the supply chain and now even government is working at the cluster programs okay. where like China model uh, specializing on toys, IC chips, you know, sanitary wares, each district, nine districts are identified. So this will promote supply chain development, skill development, then economies of scale. I think this would reduce the cost of the manufacturing and improve the cost competitiveness. Amazing. So I believe there are already leading companies who are part and members of the Bangalore Chamber of Commerce. But yet I think, you know, with a lot of the startup culture, the MSMEs and the MNCs are coming into Bangalore, uh, you know, for those who are not yet part of the chamber, what are they actually missing out on, on and why should they join the chamber? Yeah, I think uh, this is also one of uh, the things that I am looking at this year. Okay. See how to support the MSME sector. Okay. In fact, uh, they are the real, real foundation and bedrock of any nation in terms of industrial progress. And uh, their participation is very, very important. Of course, uh, we have a huge presence of MSMEs medium scale companies and the large companies in uh, the Bangalore Chamber of Industry and Commerce. We have uh, 600 plus active members. Therefore, I am very excited to support you in the MSME sector this year with a focus to improve the best practices, uh, horizontally deploy good practice of one company to the other, uh, promote even quality circles, skies and movement. I think uh, they can do millions of things. And I would like to prioritize and roll out all these programs in a phased manner in the next two, three years. I'm sure we can take them to a good level. On behalf of the corporate community and also the members of the Bangalore Chamber of Commerce, we wish you all the best and we look forward to an exciting journey ahead. Thank you, Samira. Thank God you. bless. Thank you.